In this video, we are going to talk about dependency inversion principle. This is a very important principle in SOLID. What it says is high level module should not depend on the low level module. Both should depend on abstraction. So a very simple example in a very simple term is a car, right? So when you're going to drive a car, you know how to drive a car from outside. Like you will just go and switch on the engine and you'll start driving. You don't know how the engine works, what is behind the engine, all the internal details you don't need to know. All you need to know is how to drive the car. You don't need to know how the car engines work and how exactly everything is going behind your fancy looking car. So car external which you can see is an abstraction and behind the scene which actually runs the car is the engine, right? So that is the actual implementation but you don't need to worry about the actual implementation. All you need to depend upon is the abstraction which is the external of the car which you simply use to drive your car. So in the same way when you're writing code, your high level module like if you are creating a website or a mobile application, the UI of your web page or UI of your mobile page should not depend on the low level module and low level module can be something like database, right? So which database are you using, from where you are getting the data, all these details should be hidden behind an abstraction. It should not be written in high level module itself. So the high level module like the UI of your application should not know anything about the low level module like the networking call or the database, all these details should be hidden behind an abstraction layer. Now let's understand why do we need to use dependency inversion. So the main goal of dependency inversion is decoupling the dependencies. So as it says the high level module should not depend on the low level module. It means that your code should be loosely coupled. It shouldn't be tightly coupled. So if your UI module which is the high level module knows everything about your low level module which can be your networking calls or the database layer then it is a tightly coupled code and it would be very difficult to maintain and reuse such code and it would be even more harder to test such kind of code. So if we follow dependency inversion and hide all the low level module details behind an abstraction layer that makes our code more flexible, reusable, maintainable and more testable. The main reason why your code should be decoupled instead of tightly coupled is because if there are any changes in low level module the high level module should not be affected due to that. So if you are changing anything in your network calls or anything in your database let's say you were using MongoDB and now you decided to change MongoDB implementation to some other type of database. So this is a major change in your database layer but your high level module which is UI layer which only needs data from your database layer would not need to know about which kind of database is being used in your low level module right. So with dependency inversion this decoupling is possible which makes your code more flexible, reusable, maintainable and also more testable. Now let's take some real world example to understand dependency inversion. So a very good example of dependency inversion is the power socket. So any power socket in your house would look something similar to this. So with power socket, you don't need to worry about what is going behind the scene. Low level implementation would be like which kind of wire is being used behind this power socket. You don't need to worry about those things. All you need to worry about is this power socket, how it looks from outside and you will just plug your adopter and you'll start using the power socket right you don't need to worry about the low level implementation so let's say behind the power socket previously you were using a copper wire and now due to some changes the copper wire is not working now you call the electrician they will fix it for you and your copper wire is changed to aluminium wire right so even though there were changes in the low level implementation the power socket working will not change and it would stay the same for you so the high level module is completely decoupled with our low level module over here and this is why this is in compliance with our dependency inversion principle. Now let's take another very simple example is our remote control. So our remote control works on batteries, right? So when your remote control doesn't work, all you need to do is change your batteries. So the batteries can be of AA type or AAA type. All you need to know is what type of battery I need and you can go to market and purchase that battery and fix it over here. So the battery can be of any brand. It doesn't have to be of any specific brand. It can be of any brand 
as long as it is of your type like of type AA battery or AAA battery you'll be good to use it with your remote controller and even this remote you don't need to worry about how the remote functions when you press on any of these button how it works behind the scene is not something which we need to know all you need to know is how to use a remote and how to change batteries when it's needed. Now let's take a code example to understand dependency inversion. Let's say you have a class called employee. So this is your high level class and in this class you want to add a functionality to add your employee name, right? So you might have a UI where user will enter employee name and then click on a button like save and on click on that button you will be saving that employee name to your database, some kind of database, whatever you have in your application. Okay, so you will have a string called employee name and then you will have a function something called add entry and in this function we will be saving the employee name. Now if you see this function in this function we are depending on a file system manager. So this file system manager is the database for your application and in this file system manager we have a function called save and using this function we are saving our employee name so let's quickly write implementation for file system manager so your file system manager would look something like this you will have a public function called save and inside this public function you will be saving your employee name to some kind of file right this is a simple example and it looks fine but it is in violation of dependency inversion principle because our high level module which is employee depends on the low level module which is file system manager right so let's say in future instead of using file system manager now you have upgraded and you want to store your employee name into some kind of database some kind of rdbms database right so what you will do you will create another class let's say database manager and in this database manager you will have a function called save and that save function will store the employee name into your database now since your database has changed this will require change in your high level class as well so now instead of file system manager you will be using database manager and database manager have this function called save and this will save the employee to your database so that is the drawback of not using dependency inversion in your code every time you have a change in your low level module you will have to change your high level class which is not recommended at all so this is a tight coupled code how do we fix it we can fix it by adding an abstraction layer and how we can add abstraction layer either you can use abstract class or you can use interfaces so over here we will be using an interface so let's create an interface called storage and in this interface we will have a function called save and then any type of storage any type of database you are using that database can implement from this storage interface so we will create an interface called storage and this interface has this function called save now these manager classes which are to manage the database for our application can implement from this storage interface and since it in implements from storage interface the save functionality in this classes would be to override the save functionality in our storage interface now for our high level module instead of depending upon the low level module we can depend upon this abstraction layer so instead of database manager i can use our interface storage over here and this storage will have this functionality save through which we can save our employee to our database now our high level module our high level class does not depend on our low level class so let's say in future you decide to use some other kind of database let's say no sql database so you can create a class called no sql database manager which will again implement from the storage interface and will have the save functionality and we will not have to change our high level module because we are already depending on the abstraction layer instead of the main implementation class itself so this is how we can use dependency inversion principle to decouple our code and make it more reusable testable and more maintainable